welcome to the second event of the Triple Crown of Surfing. Hi, I'm Beth Binger with David Stanfield here at Haleiwa Beach on the north shore of Oahu, Hawaii, and the conditions look superb out there. Well, this is called Ali'i Beach. That's what the locals call it, the Beach of Kings, or King's Beach, and the kings are out there, the best in the world. Conditions are perfect. We have 8 to 10-foot surf, some 12-foot sets coming in, and it is ideal for a Triple Crown event. It certainly is. Now let's go down and pick up the action. Waves that were set at the first or the second wave, they have a better wall and they offer more opportunity to do maneuvers and score points. Feel like surfing. The waves are just perfect, Haleiwa. I mean, it's a dream, you know, to surf perfect waves like this in a contest. Yeah, I feel good. The surf is absolutely fantastic today. It's a rarity that uh, we get to surf such good surf uh, under competition conditions. Usually it's awful, but uh, it's a real pleasure to surf in such good surf. You can really uh, display your talents. I'm just trying to get a few tube rides in. Um, when you're in a tube ride, you don't really think about it. You're just trying to get a good score and get out of the wave. And stay tuned for the first heat of the semifinals here at Holly Eva Beach on the north shore of Oahu, Hawaii. ...to ride within the breaking wave and escape. That's a successful tube ride. Let's meet the competitors in this first semifinal heat. Former world champion Sean Thompson and Dave Parmenter, Central California's rising star. Fellow Californian who loves big waves, Richard Schmidt. And surfing in his first World Cup, Roberto Valerio. Men's World Cup action underway. Semifinal number one, Dave Parmenter drawing first blood and gets a perfect wave here. A beautiful, polished performer, a fluid style, tucks underneath the lip. A high-scoring wave and continues down the line. Great conditions here at Holly the Beach, the North Shore of Oahu. Beautiful roundhouse cutbacks. And he works the wave all the way to the inside and rebounds. On the outside, Sean Thompson, 1977 world champion, formerly from Durban, South Africa, now living in Los Angeles. And he is working this wave to the max. Great transition turns, rail-to-rail -rail turns, just what the judges are looking for. But it closes out on him. On the outside, Richard Smith from Santa Cruz. Loves the big waves, great positioning on the outside. Picks up one of the biggest waves of the heat. And look how smooth he is. Drops to the bottom and off the top. Great moves right in front of the critical part of the wave into the power section. What a stylist. And he gets good points on that wave. Now to the outside, another big wave. Roberto Valerio pulls out of that one. The Brazilian just does not want any part of that wave. On the outside, the 24-year-old from Cambria, California, Dave Parmenter with his pat and its beautiful cutbacks, looking for some juice here. Great bottom turn, and there it is, Dave Parmenter. What a smooth transition. Now to the inside, and another cutback. That's what the judges are looking for. And that wave closes out to the outside. A good size wave for Sean Thompson. Thompson who's been in more surfing events than any other surfer. Over 110 pro events. Tearing up this wave. Oh, but it closes out on him. And to the outside, Roberto Valerio, the six-year pro from Rio de Janeiro. And he cuts loose. Not necessarily a big wave, but he is getting lots of maneuvers in. And setting up for his rebound, his re-entry. And a good wave for Roberto. And Sean Thompson's up and riding his last wave. The powerful stylist looking for a tube to get into. And he works it down the line looking for any kind of section of the wave to perform some great maneuver. And the wave closes out. That's Sean's last wave. To the outside, we have Richard Smith paddling for a big wave and he's got it. Great bottom turn. Oh, good off the top. And he works it down the line. Great wave selection underneath the curling lip there. The judges like that. Oh, an incredible roundhouse cut back into the white water, and he's made that section a great last wave. Let's look at that one more time. An awesome roundhouse cut back, full direction chains, and he pulls it off. Don't go away. 
will be right back with more from Hawaii. And advancing to the finals of the Trim World Cup, Richard Schmidt. Richard was able to use his big wave experience to guarantee his advancement. And joining Richard in the finals is fellow Californian Dave Parmenter, a graceful, fluid surfer. Dave will be tough to beat in the finals. Let's find out who's going to join Dave and Richard in the finals. In the second semi-final heat are local favorite Michael Ho, Rabbit Bartholomew, four-time world champ Mark Richards, newcomer to the world of pro surfing Carrie Terokina surfs this break every day. Carrie stands a good chance of making it into the final if he can challenge the experience of ASP veterans such as Rabbit Bartholomew and Billabong champ Mark Richards. Perry enters the water with fellow Hawaiian Michael Ho. Ho has won this event the past two years in a row. The pressure on Kerry must be incredible, surfing against the best in the world. Great wave to the outside, turning around, paddling. It is Michael Ho from Haleiwa. And Michael Ho getting a, what looks to be a nice wave. Oh, it closes out on him. Not a high-scoring wave there. Next, it's Australian Mark Richards, the four-time world champion. Two Australians going against two Hawaiian surfers here in the semifinal here at the World Cup of Surfing. Mark Richards, great transitions, great wave selection. And the wave closes out, not before he gets some good points. Kerry Terakina now up and riding. He's also from Haleiwa. Surfs with Michael Hull quite a bit here at this very break. And a great wave, but oh, a bad case of nerves. One slight miscalculation, he catches a rail and goes down. Rabbit Bartholomew, a former world champion from Burley Heads, Australia. Rabbit looking very calm and picking the right section. Right in front of the curl of the wave, a great re-entry for Rabbit Bartholomew. Big points for him. He continues to work it to the outside. Michael Ho once again. Ho now waiting for this wave to take shape couple of turns just about gets covered up there in front of the whitewater now oh nice pocket and he gets covered up there oh and he goes down on the outside mark richards mr just winning the billabong event right down the beach at sunset beach now here at holly eva trying to win the world cup a great wave fast little section picking up points and a rebound to the outside fellow australian wayne rabbit bartholomew Great wave selection. Positioning on the outside is tricky because of the currents here at Hollywood Beach. Now waiting for the wave to get a little fast section, and it does, and he works it down the line. Great off-the-top maneuver, and a good wave. High-scoring wave for Rabbit Bartholomew. Kerry Terakina now paddling, taking off. A very clean wave. Gets underneath the two, comes out. High-scoring wave for Terry. Oh, now it closes out. Kerry Terakina, the 22-year-old from Haleiwa, great positioning here, gets covered up, but the wave closes out. On the outside, Michael Ho taking off. Looks like to be a great wave. He slips and body slams into that wave and goes over the falls. To the outside, Wayne Rabbit Bartholdy, who picks up a great wave. And now it's taking shape into the shallower reef section. He's behind. Now gets up to the curl. Still waiting for it to take shape. It looks like he's going for a tube right here. He is stalling his board. Now the section gets covered up, but does not come out. Kerry Terakina to the outside. Good wave selection here, and he bails out of that one as it closes out and goes over the falls. MR to the outside. Oh, and a flow to re-entry and goes down. A horrible mistake. Looking at that one more time, he does have a good chance here in winning the heat, but this mistake might have cost it. Last wave from Michael Ho, a huge wave, biggest wave of the set. Just about gets covered up. Makes it still in front of the wave now. Stalls his board a little bit high and tight, and he barely gets covered up there. A high scoring wave from Michael Ho, and he knows it. Don't go away. The finals of the World Cup of Surfing coming up. And World Cup Finals. I'm Beth Binger with David Stanfield. Michael Ho sporting the red jersey gets ready for the final heat. His superior tube riding could be the deciding factor in this final heat. Joining him, former world champion Rabbit Bartholomew. Rabbit's been here before and he knows what it takes to beat his competition. Surprisingly composed and confident for his young age, 
Dave Parmenter, at 24 years, has been surfing 11 of those years. Dave handles the power of Hawaiian surf as a true veteran. Conditions here today couldn't be better for Richard Smith. From Santa Cruz, California, big Hawaiian waves are his forte. Beth, we have ideal conditions here at Haleiwa Beach and a great final matchup here. Michael Ho from Hawaii, right here from Haleiwa Beach, in fact. Dave Parmenter and Richard Smith from California and the Australian champ, Wayne Rabbit Bartholomew. David, it looks like Michael Ho's taking his longer board out there. And he is. Derry Ho throws him the longer board, a little bit of a psychic drama here and he's going to try to psych out the other competitors everybody knows what everybody's riding michael ho now has the advantage he has two boards out there two different pieces of equipment depending on the wave size first to draw blood it is richard smith from santa cruz california smith gets a great wave he picks the biggest waves he has great positioning works it down the line makes it in front of that wall of white water now into the curl again and he is calm, just about gets knocked off. Very calm, the wave closes out, but still a high scoring wave for Richard Smith on the outside this is Michael Ho. Michael on his big board now, not gonna draw that quick of lines. Smooth gets covered up, great positioning for Ho. The crowd goes crazy, they love Michael Ho. He is the favorite here at Hollywood Beach. Gets covered up a second time as he works down the line here at Hollywood Beach. And on the outside, former world champ, that's Rabbit Bartholomew. He's been one of the hottest performers in these Hawaiian waves. The wave takes great shape, builds bigger and bigger. Now he works down the line, a stalling turn. Now he's in the pocket, gets covered up. Oh, and he tries to come out, but he goes down. David, this is where Rabbit's incredible experience really pays off. Let's take a look at that slow motion. For Rabbit, this would have been a perfect 20-point wave if he had made it out of the tube. He pulls up into the tube. A great positioning technique here for Rabbit. He gets covered up, but can't quite make it out. Tough luck for Rabbit Bartholomew. On the outside, Richard Smith. Great wave selection, it looks like. Oh, but he falls off and goes down. But David, on the outside is Dave Parmenter. Beautiful, fluid surfer, always one of my favorite to watch. His style's emulated by surfers all over the world. Not that big of a wave, but he can really work this wave over. Working it down the line, more speed, more fluid maneuvers. Oh, and his patented cutback. Dave Parmenter Hi. with a re-entry. David, there's Michael Ho on the outside. He's looking for those tubes, calculating, stalling his board, and there he's got one. 28-year-old Michael Ho from Haleiwa, this is his break, gets covered up one more time, works it down the line, now into the real dumpy section, gets covered up a third time, the judges are looking for this kind of maneuver, he does it not one, not two, but three times, a great wave from Michael David, Ho. David, here we've got Rabbit on another perfect wave, Rabbit's wave selection is one area where experience really pays off, and this guy knows how to pick the waves. This is a beautiful wave, great wave selection for Rabbit, picture perfect here at Haleiwa, nice pocket turns. He looks so calm, a rebound re-entry, he goes down, but it's a high-scoring wave. On the outside, Richard Smith. Look at another beautiful wave building. Smith, beautiful bottom turn. He really loves the big, drawn-out styles of the big wave riders, which he is. Off the top, classic move for Richard Smith. The crowd is loving it. This is the biggest wave I've seen so far in this heat, and Schmidt knows how to pick them. Richard Smith loves the waves in Hawaii. Big waves, warm water. This guy from Santa Cruz really likes the Hawaiian surf. He comes over here every winter just to ride the big waves. Up and riding. This is Dave Parmenter. Beautiful style. Look at the classic turns. Dave, there's another example of Dave Parmenter's fluid style. Gets into a nice little pocket there. And now works it down the line. And gets out of it. It closes out on him. On the outside, this is none other than Michael Ho, the crowd favorite. That's right. And look, David, he's changed his board. He's on a shorter board. And really, he looks like he's having difficulty with it. Just a little unstable now. The shorter board's more for maneuvers. He does, though, get covered up another time. Ho now hot-dogging it more than he did with his bigger board. A little more hot-dogging maneuvers here. Michael Ho, still performing, comes to the inside section. He's working the way to look very... And a little backside re-entry. More points for Michael Ho. On the outside, Richard Smith. Gets behind the white water and goes down. Dave Parmenter up and riding. All right, 
quite a beautiful cutback. Dave's trademark in the surfing industry. Dave really looks hot in this final heat. This wave just does not cooperate, and he can't get out in front there, and it closes out. David and his rabbit up on a great wave. God, he's really driving down deep, and he gets covered up. He's in the tube. But he doesn't make it. Looking that one more time, rabbit needed a solid wave. He took a high chance for a high scoring oh. wave, but it just doesn't pay off. It goes down hard. Michael Ho up and riding now, setting up for a two, but looks like. Another great big wave for Michael Ho. And there it is. Right. He knows the break so well and how the waves are going to break over the bottom. Another tube. He can really anticipate those tubes. Oh, look, he's happy. He knows he's done great. Rabbit's last wave, David. This could make it or break it for him. He's had an outstanding heat, but you know, Michael Ho's gotten so many tube rides and that really racks up the points. I think Rabbit's under a little pressure right now on the pressure. It all depends on the wave. He is waiting for the wave patiently. It is not taking shape. He can't do any great scoring maneuver. His last ride, he tries to get covered up. He does, and he makes it. We'll have to see if it's enough. Finals. Richard Smith comes out of the water. A great job for Richard. And that was Bugs, Rabbit Bartholomew. He put on a good show. Fourth place going to... It is Richard Smith, fourth place going to Richard Smith from Santa Cruz, California. And third place, Dave Parmenter from Cambria, California. This 24-year-old's got to be ecstatic right now. For second place, it is Wayne Rabbit Bartholomew from Burley Heads, Australia, placing second. And your winner... All right, Michael Ho, first place. The local favorite did it again this year. 28-year-old Michael Ho from Haleiwa. This is his own break. One of the most popular surfers in Hawaii. One of the greatest world champions. Winning the World Cup of Surfing here at Haleiwa Beach Park. The third time winner here, Michael Ho, wins the World Cup of Surfing for the third time in a row. David, let's take another look at Michael Ho's best wave of this final heat. The wave that guaranteed him the championship. Field. Aloha from Haleiwa on the North Shore of Oahu, Hawaii.